In today's video, I've got for you one real simple tip that's gonna change your chipping forever. Make sure you check this video out. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video, as I mentioned there in the intro, is all about short game chipping. And I've got for you a real simple tip and one great drill to really transform your chipping and stop all those chipping woes. So I'm facing here a bog standard chip and run where I'm trying to fly the ball one or two yards onto the green, so about six, seven paces, and then get the ball to roll or release. Therefore, I've taken a club with a little less loft. I'm not gonna to talk too much about club selection today, but I have done uh, a video talking about club selection, finding your 50-50 club that's well worth checking out. I'll put the link just here, so make sure you check that one out as well. If this video does help, make sure you hit the thumbs up, share it with as many golfers as you can. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you hit the little bell icon, it just notifies you every time a new video goes live. So chipping, let me, uh, f first of all, just hit one. So as I said, I'm trying to fly this, I'm trying to land it a couple of yards onto the green. I've chosen for this a nine iron because I want to fly it about 30, let the ball roll about 70%. So landed, as I said, yard and a half or so onto the green, running and releasing. Didn't perhaps take into consideration that little bit of break, but I've hit that to about three or four foot. What you'll have noticed there, hopefully, especially perhaps from this camera, is that my hands kept moving. There was no real wrist breakdown. So my hands kept moving, my chest kept turning. And that's what we're gonna really focus on. And the simple drill is just gonna be using a cane up the side of the golf club. You can get a slightly smaller cane, push it into the end of the grip. Just don't worry about how well you hold the golf club, maybe tape it to the side of the golf club. And what I want you to do is push your handle forward so the cane is just slightly away from your body. And I want you to maintain that. So I don't want that cane to hit you. I don't want the hands to go so far forward so the cane's miles away from your body. I want you to maintain that gap on the way through. So I've still got the same gap here. And we're keeping our hands moving with no real breakdown of the wrists. We're allowing our chest to keep rotating. We're allowing my head to keep rotating. Is there lower body involved in chipping? Definitely. I'm not excessive. I'm not moving right my trail foot a lot, but my hips are opening, my shoulders are opening, and the club is continuing to move forwards. I see too many golfers almost stopping on impact. So make sure you hit through the ball. It can be awkward hit shots like this, but give it a go. So personally for me, I'd move the ball a little bit further back. I don't mind it being middle. I want my pressure forwards, sternum forwards, and I'm maintaining this gap with the cane. As I said, it's a little hard to, to hit it. it. Wasn't my best strike, but you can still see it landed about the same. It's just rolled up a little bit short. Get the feeling it in practice swings. What am I really doing there? How am I transforming my chipping? I'm just not allowing my arms to break down, not wrists. That doesn't mean I'm strangling the golf club. I'm still relatively soft and light, but focus on the body rotating and the finish position. I'm gonna hold that finish position, and the questions I'm gonna ask myself, is my pressure still on my lead foot? Are my hands past my lead hip? And is the club relatively low to the ground? And all I mean by that is, again, I haven't had that breakdown of wrists. So I don't wanna stop on impact. I don't want to obviously lean back and I don't want that club to finish high. They're the no-nos. The simple tip is focus on the finish position. No breakdown of hands because the body is rotating. Let's hit one more. That looks perfect. So I've just aimed that a little bit further right to allow for that break and borrow. And I've hit that up there to about a foot, but all of those are really puttable from there. So it's a simple, simple method where we're taking our hands almost out the hip. We're keeping them going because the body is rotating. So no breakdown of hands. Do the drill with the cane up the side of the golf club. It's really gonna transform your chipping and stop that breakdown of the wrist through impact. If this video has helped, as I said at the start, hit the thumbs up, share it with as many golfers as you can, and please consider subscribing.